Hi, I'm Martin, and in this video we're going to take a look at the new FBX Importer inside Maestro Designer 2019. So first of all I'll up the file Import, and instead of using the usual Import Geometry 3D option, I'll use Import FBX. I'm now going to browse to the models that I have here, and I'm going to take this rigged, animated model and import it. I have the option to import animations in non-editable sampled animations. And I'll keep this enabled. So first of all the object will appear. It's probably scaled a little bit out because of the scaling inside 3D Studio Max where the object was prepared. First of all I'll just scale this down a little bit. You can see I need to apply some rotation as well so let's just rotate this object and I'll move it backwards as well so that we can see it on screen. So now we can see this figure standing here, like so. Now one of the great things about the FBX importer is that it can now support multiple animation import. So you can see that there are three animations inside this file. An idle animation, which plays, it's very short, just shows the character idling. We have a run animation in a loop, so let's just play this. See that it plays one time. Now if I go to the animation view, I can see the animations inside the scene and one of the new options I have available is to loop the whole animation group. This is a real time saver because now the artists don't have to go through each animation and loop it in individually, they can just loop the sample animation like so. So now I'll hit play and the character will run continuously. I also have a walk animation which I can also apply a loop to. So if I just go back in here I can now select loop animation as well. In addition to supporting models for complex animations, we can also import models that have a skin applied to them as well. So I'll impl import this character. Just take a few seconds to appear. Now I'll select the model that's been imported. Let me just hide this model first. And I'll start to scale this down so we can see the character inside. I'll put it in a group as well so I can just quickly apply some additional scaling and I'll move the model down like so. So here we have what looks like an American football player. Let me just browse for texture. So now I can assign the skin texture to this up character as well. Just take a few seconds for the skin to appear. Over in the material, I'll just change the specular highlights to be a little bit less strong so the object doesn't look so shiny. And now if I go back, I'll see I have an animation channel created for this and I can start to play this as well. So now I have this player warming up probably at the side of the pitch. So these kinds of models with uh, complex animations can be great for things like augmented reality productions or for illustrating uh, complex stories that are being put together. And being able to import this kind of geometry directly from applications like 3D Studio Max can be a real time saver for the artists. Though they don't need to necessarily edit the animation in here, they have full control over how the animation is played back. And this can also be exposed in Maestro News and Maestro Live for the productions that they're being used in. And I think you'll agree this is a great way to enrich the broadcast productions that you'll be putting together with more complex models that you wouldn't traditionally make in an on-air graphics environment. Thank you for watching.